This program contains strong language throughout. You've met the love of your life. I love him. Like, I want to marry him. I think Barry is the one. But they're hiding a massive secret. I have not met anybody in this family. You. I don't want to keep thinking it's me. I'm proud of our relationship. I want her to be proud, too. That's all. We're on a mission to find out why. He's maybe doing some type of steroids. We got missing jewelry, a house that no one can go to. Welcome to Vegas. I mean, he may be in another relationship. Oh! I'm Ronnie Jones. Let her go, let her go, let her go. I've been hidden. I can't tell you how hurtful it is. It does make you severely insecure. I'm Travis Mills. I've definitely done it. I've been in relationships that I haven't posted at all. We're joining forces to help desperate partners uncover the truth about their secret relationships. I used to work for the Department of Homeland Security. This could very well be a guy that's living a double life. There's a difference between being in love and being a sucker for love. If we do not do this, there will be no wedding. We'll bring these couples face to face. The reason why I'm hiding you? The reason I'm hiding you is... I really don't know what to do. To reveal their shocking secrets. That's not you You should have told me something like that. You knew it's your ex? Donald. Donald. All right, Donald. Come, come on, man. Open the door. This is MTV's Help. I'm in a secret relationship. Tonight, we're in Los Angeles with Mia and Kayla, who are engaged to be married. Kayla believes she's on a show about emerging artists, but Mia wants to know why she's being hidden. She proposed to me. How long have you been engaged? Well, now it's been a year. I think Kayla might be hiding something from Mia. Like what? Do you think Kayla is cheating on Mia with Shauna? Yes. I cannot see your face without you being able to answer the questions I have. You have no idea. You have no idea. I just don't know what to do. All right, here we go. Go, go, ready, set, go, go. Another day, another case Ooh. from beautiful Los Angeles, California. Everyone moves to LA to be found. And then I find it so ironic that we're over here helping people find out why they've been hidden. Yeah. I got some information for us. OK. So we are going to uh, meet up with Mia. Mia. She has been with her girlfriend, Kayla, for three years. My name is Mia. I'm 30 years old. I'm engaged to Kayla. I love Kayla. She's my best friend. I want to marry her. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think this looks really this looks nice. Good. What stuff. do you think about putting, like, a heart and, like, you have the other heart or something? Or maybe, like, our names or something. Ooh, that's going to be ill. Yeah. We do nothing but laugh. We have a blast. We're both artists. Uh, we both do music. We both are really big on social media. I do a lot of musical content. Personality split, bitch. I ain't talking about the movie Split, bitch. Kay herself, she does a lot of funny stuff. You know, we do couple stuff, little cute stuff all the time. I'm a grandma. <laughs> I do tricks. That was hot. That was hot. You know. Maybe you can go to bingo with me. Hey, hey Kay. Hey, Mom. How are you? She's extremely close to my family. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Mom. So how your parents feel? Are they going to come here for the wedding? Like, um, I haven't really talked to them yet. I'll get to that soon. I've never even met Kayla's family. I've never met her mom, her dad, her brothers, her sister. You know, we're planning a wedding. That makes no sense. I really want to know, like, who are you invited to the wedding, you know? It's a lot going on, but I told you no, just to be babe. patient, and I will get to it when the time is right. I can't marry Kayla until I know the truth. Why is she hiding? This kind of hits home for me. As a gay woman, I've had situations where I've been kind of hidden, mm. and it does make you severely insecure. How do you get engaged to someone and you have met zero of their family? As a person who is currently engaged mm -hmm. and will be married in the next 60 days, not that I'm counting, if I have yet to meet the family, there's no way I'm getting married. Right? There is no excuse in the world that you can be like, oh, you can't meet my family. You're getting married. You are merging your lives, yeah. your, you know, everything together. Well, we are going to get to the bottom of it. Absolutely. Here we are. On the case. Hey! hey. Oh, my God. Mia? Yeah. 
Yes. Hi, Ronnie. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Good morning. I'm Travis. <laughs> nice to meet you. How you doing? Super happy to see you guys. <laughs> you Thanks for having us. You got the stew set up. Yeah, yeah, just working on some music, you know, cooking up. This is sick. Do you sing? Do you rap? you produce? I rap, sing, produce. Oh, yep. You do it all. Can I hear what you're working on? Yeah, of course. This is a vibe I'm working on. It's called Drippin'. It goes like, uh, do you really think the bar is difficult? Let me break it down by the syllable. I'm like, wiggity wow, wow, wiggity wow. It's about to go down. She on the float now. Shaking it wow. Guess she a pro now. Get that, get that. I be with that, with that. If I hit that, hit that, she gonna hit back, hit back. Hit the rut, break her off like a kick, 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 kick. Whoa. Hey! <laughs> break her off like a kick, kick. Let's go. That's amazing. You are so, so talented. I was like, wait a minute, do I have a row in the background? Yeah. yeah, I was just working on it, but man, uh, this is this is so much more important. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on? Yes. yes. Give us the rundown. How the two of you meet? Uh, we met through a mutual friend in Philly. And like a lot of our relationship was really fast. You know, we met in the summer of uh, 2018 in June. In September, I got offered an opportunity in LA. And so I was just like, yo, do you want to come with me? You do music. You know, you have a career you're chasing. We do this together. And we just upped and left. A year after we moved here to LA, she proposed to me. She is literally one of the best people in my life, you know? She loves the things I love. She's my best friend. She makes me laugh more than anybody in the world. And How long have you been engaged? Uh, well, now it's been a year. OK. I can't afford to invest anything else into the idea of us getting married until I know why Kayla is hiding me from her family. Every time I talk to her about it, she just deflects. Her dad's sick, he had a brain aneurysm, and her mom takes care of him. So she's like really big on that. Like, I don't want to stress them out. But she gets frustrated, turns into an argument. Who are you invited to the wedding? I'm working on it. You just have to kind of be patient and like bear with me while I try to like figure all this out, you know? I don't even know who if your brothers and sisters are gonna be a part of your party, or? There's plenty of time. I don't understand. Her and her sister had a fallout, and like, they're just starting to kind of rekindle their relationship. And so, like, I understand there's a lot going on with her family, but I, I feel like this is important. Does her family live in, in Philly? Yeah, they live in Philly. When is the wedding? The wedding is next September. Okay. Do you know anything about her past relationships? Um, she has one ex named Shauna um, that she was with, and she had a baby, like, right before they met, and so she helped her raise her till she was six. Oh, my God. That was, like, her that biggest is a commitment. a long relationship. And she doesn't have a relationship with the child anymore? No, no, she doesn't. So she asked me about that immediately, like, how would you feel about this? And I was like, uh. She was like, OK, out of respect, no, don't worry about it. Out of respect for you, she no longer talks with the child. Yeah. One big thing, neither one of us ever been with men. And... Same. <laughs> Same. So, Same. <laughs> Look so at I us. I think we're all... Look at us. Same team here. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so you know a woman loving women, that is half the battle in previous relationships. I've experienced all types of crazy stuff with the back and forth with the men and things like that. That's something I don't have to question. Are you out with your family, and is she out with hers? I'm out with my family. Okay. She told me she's out with her family. So they are aware you exist? This is what she's saying. OK. I have not ever spoken to them to know if that's true or not. That is my concern. You must have a couple ideas on why you're being hidden. The first thing, maybe there's someone else. When I'm thinking she's on the phone with her, her family, maybe she's speaking to someone else. Um, she could just be using me for my connections because she's in the same industry as me. And then it's like, it makes sense to take this kind of free ride. Is there anything that is a deal breaker for you? If there's any indication that she's in this because of who I am as an artist, or if there is someone else or something else going on when I'm trusting her, it's over. Isn't it lonely to live in a world where you I'm proud of our relationship. I want her to be proud, too. That's all. I feel like when you love someone, that should come naturally. If I feel the way I feel and you feel the same way, then how can you not understand how this is breaking me down inside? Isn't it strange? Honestly, and I hate to get, you know, emotional, 
I want to be able to get you the answers that you so desperately need so that you can make a decision because you deserve to know and be celebrated. Thank you. Where should we start? Like, who should we talk to? Um, my sister, Lex, is really close with her. Okay. They talk all the time. Sometimes I come home, they talk, and I'm like, oh, okay. And my mother literally treats her like a daughter. And then my best friend, Yelena, she's in Philly. Kayla got really close to Yelena. She's just as close to her as I am now. Now, Kayla obviously knows you two are doing a show, and, you know, we're gonna have to talk to Kayla as well. Like, how do you think she's gonna react with us asking tough questions and trying to get some answers? I don't know. I hope that this allows her to open up. You know, it makes me nervous because she's the best person I've ever met in my life. What do I do with all this love? I am very, very sorry that you were going through this. Look, Ronnie and I are, are gonna be hard at work trying to get you some answers, um, you know, that you obviously deserve. I just wanna say thank you guys. It was so lovely to meet you. Thank you thank for you. having us. Thank you guys. Nice to meet you. Thank you. It was definitely emotional in there. You know, you saw how affected me. I know you were crying. Ugh. If there's an air of secrecy from one party or another, that sends you on a spiral. What are the deal breakers? She said, if I find out that she's at all using me for clout mm -hmm. to benefit her career or her music or anything in any way, done. Maybe it's another person on the side. Done. Done. You know, look, maybe Kayla's not out to her family. That was something I was going to say, Yeah. right? There has to be something. I'm going to check Kayla's page. OK. Oh, boy, we got ass. Love the color of the bass. <laughs> I'm trying my hardest not to look at this ass. Oh. Ass so big, I told her to look back at it. The... This guy has a bottle of lotion emoji, an eggplant, and a peach. And the O I think face. those are sexual things. You think? <laughs> OK, now there's a dude being like, OK, clapping. And she put, yes, kissy face. This is good. It's Ready? Eli. Seems a little suspect. Yeah. And what Mia said is that her or Kayla have never dated a guy Never before. dated a guy. Gold star is what we call us. Really? Yeah, gold star. <laughs> gold star. <laughs> what is that? Like, you're a gold star lesbian if you've never been with a man. I have one. OK. Put on a t-shirt. <laughs> I said we go back to the car. Yep. We could call Lex, we could get Mama call. Boom. And I just hope that we're not gonna uncover something like really crazy. Yeah. Coming up. I think Kayla might be hiding something from Mia. Deflection after deflection. You have no idea. Let's do it. Let's go. Mia and Kayla have been dating for three years, and they're engaged to be married. Mia needs to know why she's being hidden from Kayla's family before she moves forward with the wedding. We're here to help Mia get some answers. Lex and Mom. Hi. Hi. I'm Travis. Hi. I'm Ronnie. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Yes, we already were munching, <laughs> but it's really good. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. All right, so well, we got to meet Mia, which was awesome. Okay. Um, she kind of filled us in on everything that's been going on in her life and okay. her relationship and this huge step and commitment that she's about to make. Yeah, yes. yeah, we're with excited. Kayla. How did you react, Mom, when you got the news that she got engaged? I am totally, like, so happy for them. I love Kayla, you know, she's like one of my girls. She's awesome for Mia. I'm happy for her. Do you think it is acceptable for your child to marry someone if they have yet to meet their family? I don't. It's kind of weird that I haven't met her parents yet. So my yeah. suspicions is that she's keeping her a secret from her parents. I agree with what my mom said. Like, they kind of complement each other in a lot of ways. But... Uh -oh. No, but's I never good. <laughs> I never told you this because I didn't want you to look at her a certain kind of way. But I think Kayla might be hiding something from Mia. Like what? I was on social media one day. I was on her page. Then when I clicked on the comments, this comment says, hey, we miss seeing this beautiful booty at the club. So when I went to click the girl's page, her bio says, Sunset Boulevard dancer. And she posts really risque photos just like Kay. That's why I feel like she might be a stripper. 
<laughs> oh, my God, please, no. Well, one time we were in the club, two girls ran up to her, and they were like, hey, Kayla, you know, we miss when we used to work with you. You used to get all the tips. OK, wait, so tips, though, right? She could have been a waitress. Right. She yeah, could have been, been a bartender. Anything, like. I think she's a stripper. You you were, like, 100% <laughs> like. I don't know. I think she's hiding something, but I don't know if it's that. How do you think Mia would react to finding out that Kayla is possibly a dancer? She does not condone those type of behaviors. And I think that she would try to help her in a way to where she would probably try to, like, reach out to her parents and try to get them to intervene. And I feel like that's why Kayla keeps it a secret. Who was that person's profile? Wasn't it said that they missed her at the club? This is her page right here. Rennie. Yeah. OK, Rennie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to get back to work, and we're going to get me some answers. All right. Yes, please, because she needs right. it. Thank you all so much for meeting us. So nice to meet you. So Great nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Bye. Bye. We have a theory that actually makes a lot of sense. I mean, the evidence is there. It's looking real dancer-ish. Yeah, I don't know. We, we, we got some work to do. OK. Should we message Rennie on social? Yeah. Or... Hey, Rennie, we wanted to talk to you about someone that you may have worked with in the past. What's your schedule like? I just can't wait to see what Rennie wants to say. Pretty, I miss you. I miss you too. I wanted to kind of get your take on what we're dealing with here, okay? Kayla proposed to Mia about a year ago. However, Kayla is hiding Mia from her family. Well, it makes me think of when we first started dating. We were together three months before I told my parents. And I know you in the past have had people that were like not super comfortable with being out, right? Yeah, like I could be around some friends. I could be around a parent. But certain instances, it was like, you are my friend and that's it. And it's painful. And there's always that thing in the back of your head that just says, will my family accept this? But I also don't want to put my own shit on the situation. When Kayla could be out and open, it could be something else. It's hard not to think that we know people who have cut off their family and that unfortunately is a choice that a lot of people make and maybe that's a choice that Kayla doesn't want to make. Obviously that is not fair to Mia. Like you want to feel like this person can't shut up about you and not that they are actively not talking about you. Yeah. I mean, so, Ooh. okay, so Travis is here. I have to go. I miss you so much. I hope they come out of it together still. Yeah, me too. OK, bye. bye. I see you coming in now. And I got good news. What? We got a text uh, from Rennie. <gasps> I'll show you as soon as you get in the car. Yo. Hello. We got a text from Rennie. Let me read it to you, by okay. the way. We used to work together. Doing? Where did you used to work? Yeah. She's locked in right now. It's just as soon as I'm sending, she's reading. Yeah. It. Dude, a screenshot? Oh my god. She sent me a screenshot of my text. So you know what she did? She went in our convo, screenshotted it, went to go text it to Kayla, and she but accidentally sent it to, it to me. <laughs> oh. Ooh, you slipped up. <laughs> we just want to know how you and Kay know each other. Well, Ooh. she okay, so she, she just read, read it. it. Got crickets on this one. OK, so Rennie has shut down. Shut down on us. Lex, Mia's sister, says they work at a strip club 100%. But really, we're not going to know unless we get confirmation from Rennie. So there is one more person that we could reach out to, and that is Yelena, Mia's best friend from Philly. So I'm going to do that right now. OK. While we wait for Yelena, I know you miss home. I do. No, LA is a little different than New York. Mm -hmm. so. I figured uh, just up here is probably the most New York thing about L.A. OK. Pretty. OK. 
So there's like statues, large cement balls. Love it. Oh, OK. Oh, it's Yelena. Here we go. What's up, Yelena? How are you? Good, how are you? Good. We got contacted by your best friend, Mia. While she's obviously in love with her fiance, she does have some concerns. And Mia feels like, for whatever reason, she's being hidden. And we're trying to help her find out why. Kayla's a great girl, but I don't know. One time, we were in the studio. He was recording. We were kind of sitting around. Kayla left her phone um, on the couch, right next to me, charging. And she went to the restroom. And uh, she had a bunch of calls, text messages come in from Shauna. When she came in the room, she grabbed her phone real quick. And she just kind of went outside her hallway to talk. So Mia did not see this? No, Mia did not see it. So now what you're saying is that she never stopped talking to her ex-girlfriend, so she is still in contact with Sean. Yes, this was like very, very recent. Did you tell you Mia? You know, I think Mia will be truly heartbroken, and I really don't want to see that for her. You know, if I'm just going to be blunt, do you think Kayla is cheating on Mia with Shauna? Yes. trying to help Mia find out why her fiance, Kayla, is hiding her. After speaking with Mia's sister and her best friend, we have a lot to share. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? How you doing? Good to see What's you. Up? Good to see you. It smells really good in here. <laughs> yeah, I uh, already ordered okay. some stuff. Got so. some kimchi. Yeah. How you doing? <sighs> I've been nervous, you know, really want to know what you guys find out. We had the pleasure of sitting down and talking with your mom and uh, your sister, Lex. And she seems to think that Kayla could possibly be a dancer. Like pop lock and drop. Like, like an exotic dancer. Uh, yeah, exotic dancer. A stripper. Yes. Why would she think that? The first thing is that she and Kayla went out one night and someone came up to her and said, ooh, Kayla, we miss you at work. You used to get all the tips. What are those tips? And Lex showed us a provocative photo of Kayla. And one of the comments under the post was, can't wait to see this thick booty at the club again. And we went to that person's page. And that person is, in fact, an exotic dancer. Hmm. If I were to find something out like that, I would definitely be livid. It's one thing to do it and me to have feel how I feel about it. It's a whole nother thing to do it and then keep it from me. We know it's tough, and um, I just want you to know that we have your back. Um, we talked to your best friend, Yelena. She said that, I guess, one night, it was you, Kayla, Yelena, in the studio. Kayla got up to go somewhere. She left her phone in the studio. Yelena said that she had a bunch of missed calls from Shauna. Um, and she said that Kayla proceeded to grab her phone when she came back in, walked out, and talked on the phone. She seems to think, although it's not confirmed, that Kayla could be cheating on you with Shauna. Mm. To my knowledge, she hasn't talked to Sean in a very long time. So, why didn't you leave to tell me, you know? We asked her, and she's like, well, I don't want to drive a wedge in between, you know, mm. her and her fiance. Like, that's not my place. I don't know. That right there is really surprising to me. Never, ever thought that that would be something you guys would come back and tell me. If this does turn out to be the reason why Kayla's been hiding you, how do you think you're going to react? I'm going to be pissed, you know? She wouldn't just be playing with me. She'd be playing with my family, my life. And that would be, that would really, really make me upset. And it wouldn't be a hard decision at all. <laughs> Not at all. I think the only answers that we're going to get at this point, the answers that matter, are gonna, from, from Kayla. Kayla. Hello. 
Hey, hey, babe. Hey. Um, so I'm calling you because I know that I told you we were doing this show, but I really called Ronnie and Travis because I needed their help finding out what is going on with you and why I believe you're you're hiding me. Are you serious right now? Yeah, I'm very serious. This is very, very serious. And I really, really need to sit down with you at this point and find out what is going on. I am so shocked. I don't even know what the what to say, like. Hi, um, Kayla, this is uh, Ronnie and Travis. Um, hey, Kayla. We are here to just get her the answers that she needs to be able to walk down the aisle with you. Mia deserves these answers. Are you willing to sit down with Mia and have an honest conversation? Um, no disrespect to the two of you guys, um, but you, you know, you don't know us. I do, I do understand that you're, you're trying to help, but you don't know me. Like, I don't know you guys. Babe, you know we like, need to, babe, stop, stop, America. stop, stop, stop. Like, babe. And I, yeah. Stop. If we do not do this, there will be no wedding. We are not doing another thing together until we do this. I don't know if I can do this. You have to. I'm asking you to do this for me. Please. I just need a second to, like, think, like, I, like, I don't even know what's going on right now. Like, All right, well, I'm going to make sure I stay at a friend's tonight because I don't want to see you until we have this conversation. What? I cannot see your face right now without you being able to answer the questions I have. And because of that, I'm gonna let you take your time. And when you're ready, we'll sit down and we'll talk. Fine. You let me know. Fine, whatever. Yeah. Are you okay? At least I'm feeling like I'm starting to get somewhere. We are right here with you. I can do anything for her. I'm asking her for one thing. Give me this one thing. When I'm in, I'm in. When I'm out, I'm out. Last night, Mia decided to stay with a friend. We're on our way to pick her up so she could sit down with Kayla face to face and make a decision about her future. We're here. There she there is. There she is. Mia, hi. Oh. What's up? OK, outfit. Yo, how are you? Good, how are you? Had a long night. Yeah? Talk to Kayla at all? Yeah, she uh, sent me a text and said that, um, you know, she's she's ready to talk. She is? Yeah. All right. You know, it, it makes me nervous because it feels like I had to force her kind of into this. Whenever you feel like it's not something someone would willingly want to do, it always makes you wonder why. You know. Here we go. We are here. Yeah. Text her and let her know. You ready to, to do this? And get to the bottom of it? Yeah, I'm ready. Travis. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having us over. Hi, I'm Ronnie. Nice to meet you, Kayla. Nice to meet you. We can go in now. Today is a big day for the two of you. It is three years and an engagement in the making. It takes a lot to be willing to sit down and have that tough conversation. And with that, I want Mia, you to just tell us how you're feeling in the moment and just talk to Kayla. I'm sorry that I had to say this was something else at first. You know, I don't ever like to tell you something that isn't true, but I just felt like my hands were tied and I had to figure out a way to get you to open up. You have no idea how hard it was to sleep last night, <laughs> trying to figure out what you were afraid to tell me. 
It was hard for me, too, when you said you wasn't coming home last night. You've never said anything like that. You've never said you won't come home. I was so confused. I would do anything to protect us. But I have to know that I'm safe in this with you first. They talked to my sister, Lex, and she started to kind of spin this kind of idea that maybe you were stripping at a club. I did used to work in the club, but I was DJing, but that was it. I would never strip, and you know that I would never strip. Kayla, why do you feel like you couldn't be honest with me uh, about DJing at a strip club? I just didn't want her to get the wrong idea. I was just doing it just for extra money. And it was a strip club, so I didn't want her to just think differently of me. We have so much going on, we have to have trust. Without trust, it's not going to work. Someone's telling me something I don't know about you. That makes me nervous about other things that I don't know. You know, they talk to Elena. You know, that's like my right hand. She has some things to say that really, you know, got me thinking. There was a time when we were all hanging out in the studio, and I was recording in the booth at the time, and then you received a call from Shauna. The Elena noticed, like, you left the room abruptly, and, like, it kind of made her, like, concerned about what that was about. You know, if she called you and you spoke to her while you were around me, why don't I know about that? I'm going to just come out with it and just say, are you cheating on me with Shauna? I'm going to just come out with it and just say, first of all, are you cheating on me with Shauna? There is some truth behind that phone call. She did call me. I did leave the room abruptly because I was like, oh my god, what the hell? Like, Why is she calling me? And then she was hysterical on the phone about her daughter. Her daughter was having some COVID symptoms or she was exposed to it. It was only about her daughter. I sh should have told you, and I know that you're probably upset, but it was only about her daughter, and I made it very clear that she cannot call me, and that is all the conversation consists of. I get it, but even in this situation, it feels like, you know, your past has a better relationship with your family than me. Shauna and this child had the opportunity to meet your parents and be around them and build a relationship in a way with you that I haven't yet. And I can't even get an answer about, hey, what's the plan with your family and our wedding? It has been deflection after deflection. It has been, I'll get to it, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. And these things start to creep in your mind and, and make you wonder what is happening here. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mia, when we first started talking, you made it very clear that you don't like to date girls that have been with guys before. I have been with a guy before. And he is still involved in my life. Um, so me and my sister are actually, we are close. There hasn't been a falling out. We do talk. Um, she's engaged to the guy that I was with before. I made her you know, not to ever talk to you or reach out to you. I just thought it was better if you never knew that I've been with a guy. So you've been putting up a facade that you and your sister aren't close so that I don't find out that you used to date her fiance. That's a lot to take in. Give me a second. Um, I sense a lot of fear within you, but do you think that fear and having to hide has affected the way that you communicate with Mia? 
Um, yeah, I do feel that way. What made you feel like you could not tell me that? When I'm asking you to open up about something to me, when I'm asking you over and over again, let me in, let me in, let me in. It's so much deeper than, than what you're saying. It's so much more deeper. You have no idea. You have no idea. I'm the person sitting here learning new things. <sighs> there is one more thing that I've been hiding from you. <sighs> my, my mom thinks that we're just friends that moved away together. She doesn't know that we're in a relationship or that we're getting married. She doesn't believe in two women being together. Shauna gave me like an ultimatum, and it was kind of like, if you love me, you'll tell your family, or we can't be together. So I did, and it was, it was a lot. Uh, my mom disowned me. She, she said, like, like how, how's it going to feel to know you, you, you won't be in heaven with the rest of your family? Like, it's a sin, and, you know, it's an abomination. And if she seen me on the street, she'd walk right past me. And we didn't talk for a really long time. When she told my dad, you know, my dad has a brain aneurysm, so he lost his memory. So each time she would remind my dad, it was like he was reliving it over and over again. And I just told myself I would never put myself in that position again. And because of those things, I just, I didn't want to tell her about us. I love you and I don't want you to feel like I'm hiding you. I don't want you to feel like you're a secret or anything like that. But I also don't want to lose my, my family. And it, just, it scares me because I really don't know what to do. I want them to be there. I want my mom and my dad to be at my wedding. But I don't know. I just don't know what to do. <laughs> um, I am uh, so sorry that you had to go through this alone. I'm happy that you told me because it was doing more damage keeping it to yourself. And all I want to do is be there for you. You don't have to be by yourself. You don't have to go through anything alone ever again. I will always be there for you. Always. I love you. I love you too. It's not for the faint of I'm very, very happy for you too. Thank you for the privilege of like allowing us to be here and to help you guys work through this. And honestly, I'm just excited for you too. You know, to walk out that door and now you know that you have a true ride or die. And when shit is bad over there, you got this one right here. And never leave me out again. Let me be there for you. I promise. I promise. This is where forever starts. This is where it all begins. This is where forever starts. This is where it all If you've been affected by any of the issues mentioned in this program, please head to our helpline page.